We've now watched four WNBA Caitlin Clark basketball games. I have never seen people hate a woman so much because of what she's earned. Because of what she's earned. I've never seen a man get hated so much. LeBron never has been hated for what he's earned. Never been hated for what he's earned. The hatred that I read on Facebook, on Instagram, they literally take still shot photos of her complaining or voicing when she's being fouled. There's a picture right now that I've seen on Facebook where Dijanae Carrington flat out is fouling the shit out of her. Arm is literally wrapped around her chest and over her arm, backing down. And people are saying that's great defense. Look, man, Kaylin Clark is in the WNBA because Kaylin Clark can score. What the Indiana Fever is doing right now is they are destroying their best asset. We, I just watched the game tonight, well, the end of it, because I, I didn't see any of it until the like, last two minutes. Aaliyah Boston misses a bunny layup to tie the game. A bunny. bunny. The possession before, she scored on a layup. I'm sorry, on a, on a short, like, six-footer from front of the rim. On a pocket pass from Clayton Clark. Has Caitlin Clark struggled with turnovers? Absolutely. It's to be expected. The one thing that WNBA does that the NBA doesn't do is they finished playing college basketball in April. And they're in the league. They're playing regular season games four weeks later. Four weeks from when she was drafted, she's playing in the league. The NBA's draft is in July. They don't start playing till like end of October. Yeah, man, November. They don't even give it like they didn't even get a chance to get this girl in a weight room. And then I hear people say she's undersized. She's six foot tall. She's not undersized. Not for her position. Not she needs to gain that. some weight and get some strength. It will come. She's but she, she's only, it'll come. Yeah. But she they didn't give her a chance to. They play a month after the season ended. No time to, to become a pro. <clears throat> Right now. No time to become a pro. Cameron Brink can't make a bucket. Number two pick. Number three pick is injured. Camila Cardoso. I don't know who the fourth pick is. Cardoso was fourth. She wasn't three? No, she was four. I'm pretty sure. Who, who, I don't know who was three then. The girl from Tennessee. Great. She's okay. What's her name? Angel Reese mm -hmm. is shooting 34% from the field. She's rebounding the ball. She does. That's but she's shooting. We knew that. But but she's shooting 34% on layups. Mm -hmm. Like, this is what's actually happening. And all you get is a complete shit show insult of this woman. Bro, there's Arike Agumbala. I can't pronounce her name. The girl that plays for Dallas. Mm -hmm. She was 9 for 28. Last week in a game. You know how many shots Caitlin Clark took tonight in a four point loss? It was 14. 11. 11. Oh, 14. 11. 14 other day. She was nine for 17 against the Liberty on the, this past weekend. She had 22, eight and six. She did have eight turnovers. I watched the game. Those turnovers, many of them were not on her. Uh, there was a the, half of them were on. Okay. When you, have, when you have eight, four of them is many. Yes. I watched her teammates drop passes that were given her, that were called turnovers on her. I watched her teammates fumble the ball. And it's a turnover on you if the person doesn't actually catch it. I watched a turnover get called tonight on her on a clear kicked ball. Clear kicked ball. The girl ain't kicked the ball. Nick, that call that's called the kickball ninety nine out hundred times. It will be. It does get called, but that would get called the kickball. But kick she ball threw the ball at ninety nine out of a hundred times. She threw the ball at her feet, 
and it's, it was a cor- a bounce pass that hit the woman's foot. It was a correct. We have to stop the, the cap. It was a correct. If that is LeBron James throwing that pass. That's a kickball. It's a correct. Is it the correct call? Is it the correct? I don't know if it's the correct ball call. It's a kickball. She threw it at her. Ball. She threw it to her feet. All right, man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Right, I'm, right, not, I'm just. I'm every not. bounce pass is thrown to your feet. Every bounce pass. She threw it directly at the girl's feet. I'm not. She didn't throw it directly. She was throwing a bounce pass to someone that was on the left. It went right at her feet, Ruth. I'm not. I, that, we're, we're, that's neither here nor there. Let's go. Ahead. She is averaging 17 and a half points a game right now. That's good. Over 40 percent shooting. While being Mother. double teamed. <laughs> Pretty much the entire game. Nobody gets double teamed the way she's being double teamed right now. Nobody. 30 feet from the rim. It is personal. Also, and you can see it. Huh? I say also, it shows that she got to handle the pressure better. Because you're going to keep turning the ball over in those situations. You know what? It's going to It's going to keep happening. She has to handle the ball better. She <clears throat> has to be better in those situations. Nick. I said, no, I'm, I'm going to acknowledge it. I'm going to be the person that just... I'm just giving you the counter perspective. She has to handle the ball better. But like you said, she just finished college basketball. It will come a with month ago. The a pressure, month ago. The pressure that's on her and how she's being guarded by other teams because they're making the point to like as Diana Taurasi said they would. It's a different league. People are not just gonna let her come over here and do what the heck she wants to do. That's not gonna happen. But in time, will she be able to do what the hell she wanna do? Hell yeah. And if y'all think that's not gonna happen, you know, out y'all fucking mind. Like Victor went by y'all, my mama. He started off a little slow, a little shaky, and then he got it rolling. And this is gonna be the same type of situation. In a month or two, we're gonna be looking at 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 Caitlin and be like, damn, she's the baller that we all thought she was. But the, hold on, I'm sorry, my bad. I, 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 the W, I mean not W, the WNBA needs her to be great. They need her to be great. So I I get the competitiveness from the players and things of that nature. But the fans, we all, these new fans, we're tuned in because of her. Everybody else has been a benefit. Now we get to see a little bit more of the WNBA and what they have to offer. But I'm not watching because of anything else. I watched and tuned in because of Caitlin. I, I haven't seen what Angel plays. I see the highlights every now and then. Maybe because her games are not nationally on television. I and mean, we have to buy it on um, WNBA, um, the streaming service. Um, but that WNBA, it's a lot invested in Caitlin Clark. And if she doesn't come out and do what she was doing in, in college in another year, we'll, they'll lose all their viewership. And all the shit will be for nothing. So she need to get on her game. And they need her. They really do. Because in the next 10, 15 games, if she's not doing what we thought she was going to be doing, we're going to lose the fans that came in those, that's paying attention to this league and it's going to all go to shambles and all the little money that we got for these charter flights and, and 100 k to each player in Vegas is all going to go away. So, um, we need her. The WNBA needs her. All right, real quick. I don't think she's playing poorly. She's not. But the turnovers she's, not the she's the turnovers will get fixed. Turnovers will get fixed. It is what it is. Her teammates suck. Like her teammates suck. Like they're bad. Like I thought they were better than they are. I know they were the worst team in the league last year. I thought Leah Boston. But I thought Ali but I thought Aaliyah Boston was better. better. She's tragically bad. She's horrible. She actually. looked slow and her big. first three games. She's her first three games this year were embarrassing. She's not a rookie anymore. Kelsey Mitchell, they actually took her off the bench to start off. Now she's starting again, but she shoots thirty five percent from the field. That's layup, Miss Woman. Huh? She missed a few couple. She missed a few layups. This is the, this is like the thing. Like I, like you know, my son was watching with me tonight. And he, he's 10. And he said, an elementary school could beat these women. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, no, they, they couldn't. That, that's not true. A high school boys team would beat them by 50. Um, but, but when a little kid says that, it shows you how like bad this is. Arike Ogumbowali is shooting 37.3% from the field. 
She's nine and a half field goals to 25 and a half field goal attempts. She's averaging tw- um, 30 points a game. She's the leading scorer of the WNBA right now. She shoots 37 and a half percent. Are we for real? Right now, Caitlin Clark is 15th in the league in scoring. 15th, 17 points per game. How do you find that? Because I could have found shit I'm on, on the w, w. I'm on the W. I'm on the W. Their site's terrible. Their page is w, fucking terrible. The WNBA website is horrible. It's fucking horrible. What it's, the fuck is that? It, it's trash, bro. Well, how do you want, it's trash. How are they going to have new people coming in to watch your fucking game? This is the and, most non-navigatable site I've ever seen for a pro sport. It's fucking terrible. What the hell are y'all doing? Y'all getting all this new money that's coming in and we're about to get all these factors. We can't find a motherfucking marketer to, to make the page better. I, I finally went on a WNBA page today. And it was the worst thing to find anything. I it's wanted to find awful. stats to come on here and talk about it. I just gave up. I said, fuck it. Rudy it takes a half an hour to figure it out. I said, Rudy could have just have all the stats. You gotta got to click it. X's. You have the X out of shit. And it, I, I, I mean, there's only one site I've seen worse, and that's, that's ESPN soccer site. Like, other than that, this is the absolute worst league site I've ever seen. It's it's designed by children. Oh my god! It's designed by children. It's the same people that designed Angel Reese's signature shoe, um, which I'll talk about in a second, real quick as well, because that I thought was an absolutely was so offensive to her, and such an insult to her that they would literally use a repeated shoe and call it a signature shoe by coloring it pink. That's a joke, but. She's 15th in scoring. She is. What the fuck is this? Good luck. She is. Oh, where is she there? She's 11th in assists. In the league. She'll finish top 10 in scoring. And she'll, she'll, finish, she'll finish top five in scoring, I would think, if they finally let her start shooting the ball. Top 10 in because scoring. Because what they're doing to her is they're literally erasing her best quality. Her ability to shoot the fucking rock. 11 shots, 17 points. Last game, 17, 9 for 17, 22 points. She had one bad game. Yes, she had a 10 turnover. The turnovers are going to get worked out, but the woman can score. And you got to let her shoot the rock. Like she has to take seven, 20 shots a game. You have, well, Otherwise, what's the fucking point? You're going to do. <clears throat> Half of these teams still play in 4,000-seat arenas. The, Ve- the Aces supposedly sold out all their season tickets, yet they still haven't sold out a game. Best team in the league. Go look at how many people went to the New York Liberty game. That doesn't include Indiana Fever. Nobody's there. They like, had, they're sitting here they had 17, pushing. I think they had 17 catering, actually. Today? Yeah. At least that's what I saw on the WMA site that I had to navigate. No, 14, 14, I, I, something like that. It was, it was a nice the, time. the Dallas Wings play in front of 6,000 people. Like, Liberty had 14, you, or something like that. It was, it was a nice time. Let me, let, me, let me go find this. Like, for as much as they're pushing the WNBA, even when you look for it on the ESPN site, it's listed so far down. It's like, I got to dig for this shit. I think they put, it's embarrassing. Yeah. But let's be real. This young woman got chartered jets for these team, teams in her first week. What do you think? Why do you think that happened? It happened because of her. She brought the eyes. They're gonna, they're gonna tell us. They're gonna tell us on ESPN that, that, she that they've been working the, on this and this. I said, bullshit. That shit cut it out. They got no money. Cut she it. brought the eyes, the and she's the reason that these teams all are getting chartered cut, jets now. Cut the now, not, cut I, it. now, not not all of them have gotten it yet, but while while some of them have gotten it already. But she's the reason. And they can sit here and cry and bitch and moan. Let's be real, dude. Let's let's talk about it for a second. Asia Wilson. They made a big old fucking stink because people, she hadn't gotten a signature shoe yet. Nick, let me let me let me, why don't you tell me the last time you bought a signature shoe of a woman? The 30th of February? Never. Never? I mean, but they, I had a lady but they have, argue with They have to push it for the they're going to be younger girls that actually watch, and that's who they have to push it for. Have, and men are not going to buy it. Have you seen... For the most part. The shoe that they just put out for Sabrina Ionescu? 
No. The number two? No. It's fire. Yeah. It's fire. Why don't you go get me some iron? That's cool. It's like a it's like a Kobe. It's like a Kobe. Yeah, low top. Because she, her favorite player was Kobe. The low top. But it's like it's, it's low tops. They're fire, bro. Go look for the Sabrina twos. They're fire, like hard. And then Reebok puts out this fucking Air Monarch level fucking shoe for Angel Reese. <laughs> they used. Don't. Bro, I. I swear to God, Nick, Ooh. I showed you that. I sent you the picture, didn't I? Yeah, I know. I know. I see. Oh. It's a carbon copy of oh. a $40 sneaker at finish line. The they just changed the color Ooh, and added angel might, on it. And they changed it to pink. I might get me some, some, some brightness. You see him? Ooh. They probably don't make him for men, though. You'll be getting a woman's size. You gotta get a size 12. It's just two sizes. There's some big feet women out there. They gotta have 12 out there somewhere. They gotta have a fucking 12 somewhere. There's a fucking 12 somewhere. And I'm getting But, so let's see here. Today, the the New York Liberty put the Seattle Storm. God, this is so bad. They got, this is so they gotta bad. They gotta do better from this site. They have to. Listen, this is, this is, um, they're, the Liberty's 4-0. They shot 41.3% as a team. Seattle shot 34.3%. What my, what my, what my old boo has got to do? She had like nine assists. There was 9,381 people in an 18,000 seat arena. Oh, 9,000. That's what it was. Maybe I was off. They're playing at the Barclays. There's 18,000. It's empty. I'm not getting that. They're playing with black curtains around the upper deck. Okay. This is the team that went to the WNBA finals. This is a, these are facts. At the end of the day, these are facts. The end, like people don't like facts. At the end of the day, people want to know. People want to know. Rudy, Rudy. Who is watching and why they're watching? Let's take a look at the Indiana Fever game on Sunday. Seventeen K, seventeen five hundred, seventeen thousand seven thirty five. So, but we have- so let me ask you, who did they go to see watch play? Come on now. No, I want you to say it out loud so the morons in the congregation understand that the woman they're shitting on is the one that's creating the buzz buzz. that makes people buy tickets to watch this fucking garbage product. It's a garbage fucking product of bricklayers. Layups, miss. House builders. Layups. Layup, missers. Like, I don't want to hear it. It's a bad product. Rudy, wow. it's bad. My fiance came out the other day on Sunday. She said, you watch WNBA? Because obviously a woman is not watching it. Because <laughs> they need the men to support it. No matter what they say, they need, need, they need the men to support it. Because women are not going to watch it. That's just not what women do when it comes to sports. So y'all could be over there bitching and complaining in the comments and saying, oh, we need more people to support. No, women, y'all have to support. Because men were not going to watch it as much as you think we are. It's not intriguing to us. The layups are missed. It's a lot of those. The, 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 the athleticism is different. It's, it's just it's just not for our eyes. So women, y'all going to have to watch. Y'all going to have to support this league to keep it going. Because we, we're going to be here for a little bit. We're going we're gonna to watch Caitlin. And she might hold us here for a while. And we might even fall in love with a couple other players, maybe, hopefully. But it's the layup. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's different. Yesterday, Seattle played at, at Washington. Washington's arena is the size of Dillard's. Dillard High School. They play in front of, they have a capacity of 4,200. It's sold out. 4,200. WNBA team plays in front of 4,200. That's the size of their building. They got to start somewhere. I'm just saying. We're, we're, 27, years, we're 27 years in. I'm just trying to be the guy. Who... We're 27 years in. In that game, in that game, Seattle shoots 41%. Washington shoots 40%. The leading scorer for Seattle is Jewel Lloyd. She was 6 for 19 for 24 points. 12 for 14 from the line. Did you see recently that State Farm has a commercial with Jewel Lloyd? Cool. 
Who? The point guard for Seattle. Oh. Or shooting guard. Whatever she is. I'm sorry. The person that missed 13 and 19 shots. I'm not familiar. Exactly. They're literally force feeding this shit down people's throats. As they should, though. As they should do it. That's great. On their marketing side, they should do it. They should. Nah, how much? They don't, for, how they much, don't, they don't market. How bro, much, they don't market. The, how much do we ingest? This? Who's paying Who's paying for the marketing? Because the NBA doesn't market this goddamn much. The it, mark, NBA doesn't market this damn really, much. At the end of the day, they got to ride the wave. We already said that. They have but to But again, ride the I, wave. I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the, to, again, I'm going back to the shit you want to shove down my throat. And I'm telling you right now, the woman who's responsible for this shit being shoved down my throat, people want to go see. And when she doesn't play, people don't go. People aren't going. Let's see what else here. I'm 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 going down the line, man. I don't have a problem. I could do this all day. Because I like to prove people I like to prove how stupid people sound when they're on Facebook basically trashing this girl. Trashing her, bro. But she's not good. She sucks. She's garbage. Hold on. Garbage. She's not garbage, but she's got four thousand points in college. She's gonna be she ain't garbage. She's in the eye of everybody. She's gonna be critiqued. You literally just you you literally you just can critique her you, you can critique her all day. Make it fair. Every critique I have of Bronny James is fair. Fair is nobody does fair. fair. Nobody does fair anymore. Here, here's another one. Phoenix versus Atlanta. This was on Saturday. Forty percent from the field. Forty percent from the field. Ten thousand people there. That building seats twenty thousand people. Empty. Empty. An empty building. Like this is a. These are facts. Can you imagine if there was only ten thousand people at a heat game? Remember, I told you this. It's tickets sold, not bodies in the building. The Heat sell out preseason bullshit. No one goes. Sold but they sold 19,600 tickets. Damn, I they sold them. I They're sold. I would have broken one of jersey the whole time. Why? It was just to, to, to rub it in your face. And- you're, you're, feeling, you're feeling a little fat in, in it, aren't you? Nah, you know, just you—you you were, you were twenty pounds lighter when you fucking first put that jersey on, huh? I, I was twenty pounds lighter. <laughs> that is true. No, because I went into the NFL at one hundred and seventy pounds. Yeah, you were—you were skinny as fuck. And I finished that year at one hundred and eighty-six pounds. Really? Yeah. Look at this. A lot of Chipotle. Here we go. Shout out Chipotle. The, 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 Chipotle. The Las Vegas Aces play the Sparks at home. The, they play in a twelve thousand seat arena. They can't sell it out. They're the two-time champions. They can't sell it out. I, I, I want people to truly understand the impact this young woman's had. She's had an impact that you can't quantify. You're only watching this shit because of her. And whatever you're watching, you're watching because of her. If you bought the WNBA League Pass, you bought it because of her. Trust me. You don't even know that you did it. You don't even know that's why you did it, but that's why you did it. Because no one was talking about the WNBA a year ago. Nobody. Nobody cared. No. Nope. Nobody watched. And I can tell you this. How many people watched the MCA championship game? Over 18 million. How many people watched the WNBA game? Two. 2.5. Which is a, a record number for the WNBA. Pe- people aren't all carrying over. They're not. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.